Hi, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. And here this week in the U.S., we celebrate Thanksgiving. So I want to wish you a very happy and joyous holiday uh, with uh, people that you care about. So for this weekly reading, I'm going to choose a couple of cards for awareness, for guidance, and possible outcomes. We will get a sense of, um, you know, what's going on for the week, and then I will also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just see what we have. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Lovers, the Major Arcana. So the Seven of Cups, we see our uh, icon looking up at seven cups and within the cups there are many options. This is a card of maybe being tantalized, of thinking and dreaming about and, and fantasizing about the options that you want for in your life or that you have access to. Often it's associated with daydreaming or simply imagining and visualizing what life would be like if I picked this cup or if I picked that cup. And so there's really nothing wrong with dreaming and dreaming big and having a vision for your future. But when there are seven options here, don't let it befuddle you. You know, don't let it freeze you from moving in the direction of one of the cups. Uh, this ultimately is a card where, yes, dreaming big and having plans and wanting to do many things is a very positive aspect. But ultimately, you have to narrow down the focus. You have to take the steps toward one of these cups. If you're just standing and looking, you're just going to be standing and looking. So there's a sense of, you know, seize the momentum of how you feel and maybe pursue one of these choices. Uh, I'm just trying to think here and not to focus on what isn't being fulfilled. Focus on what you think you will be able to fulfill. So always an interesting card to me, it's again of duality of, of fantasy and reality, the finding the balance between the two. Then we have our lovely Queen of the Cups, Queen of Cups. <laughs> and the Queen of Cups sits in her throne. She is providing unconditional love. She is sensitive. She is intuitive. She understands people and has that high emotional intelligence where she can um, know how to react appropriately and can intuit and understand and be empathetic when someone is upset or needs a certain this or certain that. And so this energy of the Queen of Cups is lovely with nurturing and sensitivity and of goodness. And so it may be a day, Wednesday may be a day where you are giving counsel to someone else and you're being that sympathetic ear. Maybe that's something that you require. Uh, but this uh, Queen of Cups is connecting on an emotional level. And it's those connections with people. And it always comes down to these honest um, interactions that we have with others. And the honest ones are the ones probably that have the staying power within our lives. Because, uh, you know, through life you meet a lot of people and they're maybe not so real or they're rushed and they're really not with you and they're talking to you. But I think with the Queen of Cups, it's a genuine genuine type of person uh, with the potential for a loving, real friendship relationship is there. And further solidified when we see the lovers here. And in the lovers, it's about people coming together in a partnership. It's, will it transform your life? Will it be something that will be significant in the future? Whether you are single and looking to meet someone, this could suggest the possibility of true love. 
It could suggest all of the beautiful things that love brings, intimacy, romance, desire, fun, engagement, as in being engaged in each other's lives and caring about the day to day. Whether you're in a relationship and perhaps it just needs a little tweaking. Maybe you've been married for 35 years and you just need to kind of rekindle some of the romance or of the intimacy or of the time spent alone really sharing and listening and nurturing each other. Sometimes you just need a little uh, light the fire again. And so with the lover's card, this is a sense of depth, of the potential of something rich and deep. And it also has this element of decisions. Sometimes lovers who are together and you realize maybe that you're not on the same path and you're not thinking the same way or that you're not triangulating towards the path of one and decisions may come that maybe it's not for you or for your partner. Maybe these are decisions where it's going to be awesome and you know definitively that this is the love that you've waited for. So uh, this lovers can also extend to great friendships, friendships that have trust and intimacy and frankness, I think. And that can be business relationships. It could be long-term friendships. Um, doesn't always have to be uh, romantic lovers. Uh, ooh, someone just knocked on my door. It's awfully late. Okay, um, so let me get my train of thought here. The lovers, um, yeah, beautiful card, beautiful reading with the Queen of Cups here and the Seven of Cups, this water energy. Um, with the lovers, keep your eyes open if you are single and uh, put yourself in, in opportunities or places where you can meet people. You have to get out, you have to do your part. But truly wonderful here. And maybe the message is to follow your heart when we see the Queen of Cups, when we see the lovers, and we see options in the Seven of Cups. Follow your heart and follow the breadcrumbs of love, you know. Um, just listen to your intuition. So I, I really like this. This is fabulous. And let me go ahead and I'm going to just move these off to the side. And I'm going to use the Whispers of Love Oracle. Get those off here. Okay. And we will pick a card. Okay. Let's see what it says. New love. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. It's fabulous. Fabulous and in sync, in sync with this reading. So new love could be a new love for a project, new love for a part of your career, a new love of a niece or nephew that was just born could be a romantic new love, but you know, this is um, wonderful. And it's just awesome to see, particularly with these two cards. And I'll just frame them up here. Uh, I, I can't say more than what it says here, honestly. New love, embracing opportunities of love, putting yourself in the position to find love. If you are in love, making it better, saying I love you to someone, saying how much you mean to me. Three simple little words, or even if, if you don't want to say that, there's just one, there are so many ways to show that you love someone. So many ways to, uh, to confirm and to really let someone know, whether it's through touch, uh, through a wonderful action that you would do for someone. But again, a theme for the week is really to let your heart and your love show and shine and it will shine back to you. So I hope that you have an amazing Wednesday. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share or comment. It's a great way to stay connected and to help the channel and I appreciate it very much and the same thing goes for 
subscribing. Thank you to all that have already subscribed. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It's uh, just a wonderful way to keep me encouraged in doing the readings. So come back again tomorrow for another daily tarot reading. Check out my mind, body, spirit weekly one. That was awesome for the week. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.